Hi guys and welcome to our latest kitchen project. We are here in Osterley and as you can see this is a bold and striking kitchen. But before we get into it don't forget as always to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if there's anything specific you want to see in future. So ordinarily we'd start with the island of the bit in this kitchen there is something that I have to call out and that is this beautiful TV unit. So if ordinarily we don't do TV units but as this is quite literally in the kitchen, a part of the kitchen, we had to include it. So as you notice, there is this striking blue color. Um, the card has opted to pair that with a beautiful brushed brass finish, which you can see in the elements call this above. Nulled brass happens at no level, and then the same matching worktop from the kitchen running through, acting almost as an edge. They've got a lovely big TV here, and then two open display areas either side, double thick shelving, LED strip lights in those niches. It's a really, really engulfing unit. I like in this kitchen as well, you can see a lot of little layers and steps in the design. So you'll notice the one here, we've got a double thickness end panel, uh, a deeper unit coming out from the TV area, and this is a broom cupboard. So you'll see it's nice and divided here. We've got a central divider for uh, the closed ironing board and then a separate section for the mops and brooms, etc. Coming around onto the made up working side of the kitchen, we've got this beautiful corpse worktop. It's like a creamy white base with a lovely grey vein in here. And it's got almost like a bronzy gold tinge to it in the vein, which picks up the brass details throughout the kitchen. So we've got the one we on this side, just fully shelved, and you actually notice this beautiful colour. It's almost like a grey oak internal colour, which is really, really nice. And then that we've got this brushed brass extractor. So this is a bespoke extractor mantle that we made. So the extractor is recessed underneath it. And this is this lovely brass brush brass finish. Again, picking up the accents in the rest of the kitchen. We've got a Siemens black glass induction hob. So this is a five ring burner hob. So perfect for if you're cooking for large amounts of guests. And we've got drawers underneath and we've got internally divided here. Lots of utensils and then at no level, plenty more storage here, the pots and powders. Coming round, we've actually got something you don't see a lot in our kitchen. This is a washing machine and tumble dryer in this unit. Um, so this is a built-in washer dryer. On the other side of the island, we have a double unit for storage. We have the integrated bin. And we've got an integrated drinks fridge at lower level here. Lovely oak cracking internally. Glass and soft to keep all your bottles of wine and champagne delicates. And then you have the wet side of the kitchen. We've got an amazing brushed bronze sink. So it's a lot in deep here, 600 white. And then the Pro 3 Fusion cooker. It's all in gold. And you'll notice again, not the pot of cold water like usual. And then double, double tap and you've got boiling water in an instant. That is aerated. It is a safety feature. Come around, we've got the dishwasher. So again, it's a similar configuration for us. Dishwasher sink, the bin is actually on the other side of the island, but that's because the client offers a lot of prep on the island, so it's easy to be able to just brush the remnants out the east of the bin. Coming round, you'll notice that they have the lovely seating area on the back side of the island. So there is a 300 mil or so overhang here, and that creates a nice seating for four people on an L, which is quite nice. Sometimes people don't like sitting four in a row because it's not as social. So this actually enables you to interact and communicate quite nicely. If you want to come around here, we'll see the cooking area, the kitchen, the tool stacks, the two tool units next to each other. We've got two Gaganel 200 series single ovens. So side by side, they've got this lovely enamel internal, uh, nice and easy to clean. And they, these are lovely bits of kit. And then above the banana, we've got some storage. So on this side, it's just a pretty shelved unit. And on the other side, a fan favorite, which is the bacon tray dividers. And there is plenty more storage below. Again, really delved for lots of rabbikins and big uh, cake trays and stuff like that. So plenty of storage in the kitchen. Coming round, we're going to go to the other tool stack. Uh, so you will notice it's up there. This is a big blue film on the big fridges. This is a leap head fridge and freezer. That's because the client has just moved in and they haven't removed the film yet. But this unit on the left of the fridge or freezer is our larder pantry. Uh, so it's a double wide unit. We've got a clot free sanding uh, microwave internally, some double thickness shelving here. Uh, display areas, nice teacups and, and teas and stuff. And then at the level level, we've got uh, dumbbell sockets. There's the same match of work running through, and this is where the clerk's opted to put that coffee machine. And in addition to the coffee machine, you've got another fan favourite, which is the integrated coffee pod drawer. So you can see it's got nice cut towels. We ask our clients, do you use a Dolce & Cousin machine, an espresso machine? And this clerk has an espresso machine with these small pods, everything nice to colour coordinated, which is a pleasure to see. As I mentioned, we've got the fridge and freezer, nothing too different about that. 
lovely bit of kit though, nice and nice and large. It's a free side of the plant, and we basically make this niche the right side to house it. And then above here, you've got a wine plantain display area, and that is in the bruffed brass to match the rest of the absence throughout the kitchen, which is quite nice display bottles. And then finally, link of the bit more storage. This is a double unit again. This is stainless steel Negra box drawer boxes, and they actually just up the um, the front rail, so you can actually see in all the drawers, see what's going on in there. Some shelves above. This is a amazingly stock model. I must say, big fan of Terry's chopped oranges, and the cloud has got loads of them in there. It's not Easter yet. And then finally, we've got um, some stored to the back side of the island, and it's a lovely open display area on this back side here. This is actually very similar to the Eleanor's display our Millbrook showroom where we've got the main external colour, but the backing of this is making is in the metal accent, so in this case, it's the brushed brass. That is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next time.